Hi viewers, welcome to another wonderful episode of People and Places, your culture and lifestyle program. Today we are at the World Travel Market. It's a global event and we've got countries represented all over the world. We're here to savor the sights and the scenes of the world market. Come with us on a voyage of discovery. Let's go there. <laughs> Whether you like or you don't like, after you hear this truth talk. Whether you like or you don't like, after you hear this truth talk. If you like, you do. If you don't like, you hang. Let's go carry your body go Nigeria. Everybody say yeah, yeah, yeah. You see how Nigeria is sweet? Nigeria International Tourist Board. We show you how Nigeria is sweet. All that one you watch on television, in a lie. This is what we call the real McCoy. How we enjoy in Nigeria is like this. Nigeria is very, very sweet. Go there and you will not come back. viewers welcome to people and places we are still at the world travel market 2012 and we're here at the nigerian stand to see what is happening in the tourist sector within the nigerian country we are here today and we are privileged to have with us otumba olushe gonrushewe oon he is the director general nigerian tourism development cooperation thank you very much for being with us here sir my pleasure to be here with you mm -hmm. Can you tell us what is your take on the program so far, World Travel Market? What is your, what opinions do you have about the event? Well, thank you very much. And basically, the my take on the program so far has been very successful outing. Particularly, we are over 192 countries of the world come together, and this year we've decided to lift our inbound strategy of bringing more tourists to Nigeria from Europe, from America and from the Asian countries. So it affords us the opportunity of coming to one strategy window and communicate to the whole world. And that's what the travel market is all about. And today part of our strategy is to have the Nigerian Day whereby we invite everyone to come, enjoy the Nigerian cuisines, Nigerian drink, everything in Nigeria. And then we're lucky to have Eric here giving us two tickets as a raffle draw, return ticket to Nigeria from London. So we are opening up our strategy to get more friends for Nigeria. So this program and this World Travel Market 2012 has been tremendous success to record it so far. Let's go. Everybody now. I can hear you. It's good we're creating an awareness for foreign investments and for people outside of Nigeria to come into Nigeria and savor the tourist sector. What exactly is your corporation doing to create an awareness among Nigerians themselves who are going to receive these tourists? What, what do you do or what are you doing in that respect? Well, definitely any country that expects inflow of tourists have to have a strategy in place. We already have a strategy in place. We just finished a training capacity building for our taxi drivers at the airport, our tour guides, and at the same time, the entire people of Nigeria, appealing to them to appreciate the benefit of more tourists coming to our country. So, and it's been working out for us. We've not had any complaint as such about our people attitude. You know, generally Nigerians are very hospitable people, very loving, very caring. So it afforded us the opportunity to be able to, you know, treat these tourists in a way that I look forward to coming back again. So, so far our strategy is working out and we are particularly very happy. What um, can the diaspora in Nigeria, the Nigerians in the diaspora, what can they do to contribute to this sector as well? 
Well, it will interest you to know that the um, Nigerians in diaspora in particular have formed an association of um, tourism operators in the diaspora association. And then um, they've been working with us. What they've been doing is to arrange package holidays among themselves to come back home. And also it's interesting to know that a DNA test was carried out in America and 59% of the African Americans trace their roots to Nigeria. So these are part of the Nigerians in diaspora and the diaspora themselves, they've been working with us to get more people to come. And in the area of technological development, ICT, the diaspora and tourism association has been very helpful. Yeah, they've been very contributing a lot, bringing a lot of ideas. I'll be willing to work with them. I will put in some sincerity of purpose in this course. And I'm happy to tell everyone that um, Nigeria is the place to be. Particularly when it's very cold here. Nigeria has a beautiful and wonderful weather. If you, and you know our weather in Nigeria, even our sun is medicinal. It helps to reduce stress, and etc. So the place to be really is Nigeria. And I welcome everyone to Nigeria. If you marry a taxi driver, I love you. If you marry a photo driver, I don't care. If you marry a pepe seller, I don't care. If you marry a taxi driver, don't care. <laughs> you see <laughs> Thank you, sir. Candidly, how tourist ready is Nigeria? Realistically, how can you sell tourism in Nigeria? That's why we're here. If we don't believe that we can sell tourism in Nigeria, we won't be here. Now we're ready. We have um, navigators. We have um, maps on telephones. We have promotional materials, publicity materials. We are promoting all our festivals. There are more than 150 festivals. So, how better ready can we be? We're totally ready. And in the recent time, we've had about close to 4.6% increase in our tourist record. Mm. So how would you align yourself with the Vision 2020 20 agenda of um, the President, His uh, Excellency, uh, Ebele Jonathan, good luck. How does the tourist sector come into this? The Vision 2020 agenda of Mr. President, which also key into the transformation agenda of Mr. President, has been totally tourism friendly. He gave a special window to tourism and a special focus to tourism. And that's why today I believe very strongly that among the 2020, I mean the 20 strong nations in the world, that's an economic bridge. Nigeria will definitely be one of those that will make statements pretty soon in the 2020 agenda. Thank you very much for your time, sir. Yeah, but I would like to use this opportunity to also thank you, thank Ben Television. <clears throat> but I'd like to appeal to everyone that in Nigeria, we are extremely very ready to receive everyone, both foreigners, Nigerians in diaspora, and really, the best place to spend your holiday to everyone is Nigeria. Nigeria <clears throat> is the biggest secret of tourism development that the world has not heard about. And pretty soon, the world will know that 
tourism in Nigeria is truly live. So I welcome everyone to enjoy the best of tourism in Nigeria. Thank you, sir. It's a good job you're doing. Keep it up and all the best. Thank you, Thank you for being on the program. Thank you, sir. market we're at the nigerian stand it's been so exciting in fact i don't think we've ever had it this good on the nigerian stand you're still watching people and places i've got a a distinguished lady with me here she's a, a distinguished member of the nigerian community i'll let her introduce herself and she'll give us her take on today's events you're welcome to the program thank you very much chief mrs yemisi agumbi adesanusi President International Day for African Children and Youth. What's your take on today's event? Well, today's event is quite interesting, but we need to engage more with Nigerians that are living in the UK because they understand uh, what tourism is about. They can become our tourism ambassadors and they can mobilize a lot of investment and a lot of uh, tourism opportunities for Nigeria. So in future, they need many people should have been here. They don't know about it, so they need to walk in touch with them. Maybe six months before to plan, and many of them can come as volunteers. And we need to have like Nigerian snacks. The the deco is nice, but uh, they need to be more welcoming to give leaflets, to give water, to make people feel welcome. So that because when you go to other countries and other stand. The people are much more kind of uh, inviting and attractive and they kind of mobilize for their country. Tourism is very competitive, so every country has to really sell and uh, make their country very attractive. Thank you very much. Thank it's you, ma'am. It's better. It's better than last with, with the ambience here today, uh, I don't think we've ever had it this lively. Uh, what do you think? Um, of uh, the arrangement for this year's own. What, what do you think about it? The music is good, and I think, uh, but, but there's still a lot of people out there that don't know about it. So we need to get more people to be part of it. But the music is good, and the ambience is good. Thank you very much. So we need to create more media awareness for this program, and uh, organize voluntary. kind of Nigerian UK kind of committee because we are also Nigerians and we want to be part of what is happening in Nigeria and contribute our quota voluntarily. Can we also suggest that the youth should be a bit more involved? We don't have Nigerian youth. Yeah, we need students and young people that can really be sell our country yeah. to showcase our culture. Definitely. Yeah, Definitely. Thank you very much. What kind of Nigeria is this from? Your, your lovely attire. Where, where is it from and what does it represent? I'm from Edo State, being precisely Nigeria. I'm wearing the traditional attire. It's it's mostly when the women want to get married, they dress like this. You understand? Then the wife of the Oba of Benin, this is how she dresses. So it's a full traditional attire meant for the Benin people. So you're dressed as a queen, is that it? Yes, I'm dressed as a queen and a traditional wear. To represent so, uh, Edo states. In present day Edo state, do people still wear this? Can you buy it and wear it? You know, even if you're not a a, a queen. 
No, you can only wear it when you are doing something traditional. You cannot just wear it and we can't wake up in the morning and wear it. Like I'm representing, I'm representing Edo States in this traditional attire in London, showcasing our culture, you know, so I can wear it in this kind of, you know, situation. You understand? Yeah. Thank you very much. It's very beautiful. Thank you. I hope you enjoy yourself. Yes, I am. I can see that you're enjoying yourselves here today, sir. Can you tell us what part of Nigeria does this outfit represent? Okay, the outfit is coming from uh, the southeastern part of Nigeria. Uh, I'm from Ebony State, from Ishago specifically. So this is uh, our costume, traditional costume. We dress this way to exhibit our culture, to exhibit our tradition, to exhibit our practices, to exhibit our belief. It, this is a way we dress. Uh. Thank you very much. I'm very grateful. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. My name is Emeka uh, Okochi Patrick Chukwu Emeka. Thank you, Mr. Emeka. We are now bringing the ladies girls, Lagos girls, and the ones from Abeokuta, Ibadan. All the, you know where Ibadan and Ingo come dance. Look at this, look at that. Shake your face. Come on, look at that, look at that, look at that. Baby, somebody, someone, someone, someone. to give you, especially ladies, can you guess what I'm holding here? We want everyone to go home with one today. Everybody must go home with one today. This is a special thing from Nigeria with love. Must go home with one today yeah. with a special key holder and please don't bother to go to the cafeteria this evening you have special dinner nigerian way for everyone here Woo! with drinks enjoy the music while the music is on just look at your right there go and pick your own rice with akara in our own way with a nigerian pop pop everything with also two countries our brothers and sisters from the Sierra Leone are also joining us today. They are here. Uh, please come on, please come on. Our man from the Sierra Leone. It's an it's an Equa, Equa thing. And we have the, from the Gambia. Where are they? So it's, it's, it's a joint program today. Nigerian, Sierra Leone, and the Gambia. All with love to everyone. Yeah, so please. If you if, if if you dance very well, your present will touch your hand. So the best dancers will get present tonight. But for the ticket, audience, 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 for the ticket, we have two tickets returned to Nigeria, courtesy of Ari. 
So when we are about to do the raffle draw, we'll call everyone in. The master of the, uh, the MC will announce at the appropriate time, and I want her to welcome, to invite you all back, to enjoy your dinner with us. First course, we have three courses. First, second, and the third one. They are all there for you. Please drink the Nigerian drinks, the Sierra drink, and the Gambian drink. And also, let me quickly mention, where are the Italians? Italians. I'm so impressed. The Italians tonight brought us some Italian bread. They said they are happy to join us. So Italians, okay, they are there. They also have joined us. So we thank the Italians. From Sierra Leone, yes, the food is here. From Gambia, I've announced it, yes. So you can see how nations can work together. So in the spirit of ICTP, I think there is a big love coming on. And also we have the Director of Operation for ICTP. Please come. She's also here with us. They're joining us. It's our pleasure. So you all enjoy the evening, but make sure you go home with your umbrella. Is that okay? Oh, well, Italian, please come, come, come. Oh, you see? Where are the Gambians? Itali our Italian brother, you can see. Yeah, you see? Don't you look alike? Oh, yeah. You see? The Gambians are coming. They're somewhere there. We have Sierra Leone. We have ICTP. We also have Italian. So we are we not together? Yes. We are together. So I call the MC. Oh, you have something to say? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Just to say, well, we're very happy to be here and we're happy to work as West Africans. I hope we'll, all of us will enjoy the evening. I'm sure we will. Please, let's just get a word from ICBT. ICTV, sure. We are welcome to uh, have Nigeria on the Council Board of ICTBG International Council of Tourism Partners. Together we are dedicated to green growth and travelism. Thank you for being on board. Thank you very much. Please a round of applause for her. Our, 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 our Italian brother can speak in Italy. Uh, please, where's the Gambia? Please say something. Even in Italian. Italian. Io sono molto contento di essere qua. Siete tutti molto belli, bravi e sono contento di essere qui con voi. Okay. to say one before we start. Where is she? Where is she? Oh, anybody can speak with Gambia. Gambia, Gambia. We have that we have to encourage regional tourism. Yeah. It is high time we take charge of what we own. We travel and see what belongs to us. And that way we are going to improve tourism. When we travel, we pay over the counter. When you depend on tour operators, it is a problem. Not that we don't want them, but it is a problem. By networking as Africans, visiting African countries, that is the way we can continue to improve our GDP contribution. We create employment and we make sure we alleviate poverty completely from Africa. And I think I must commend my big brother for organizing this function and inviting everybody. It is so beautiful. Sorry, Damle, thank you very much. The Gambia is known as the Smiling Coast and Nigeria is our big brother. We depend on them to survive. Thank you. Well, that's all we have for you on today's episode of People and Places. Thank you so much for being a part of today's program. As always, I'm your host, Yemi Akonde. Till I come your way again, thank you, and I hope you had an awesome time at the World Travel Market 2012.
Take care of yourselves now and keep on watching People and Places.